What up guys, welcome back to the Horfini channel. Today we're gonna talk about love yourself and share with you guys some of the things that we do on our in our daily lives to make sure that we are healthy and that we have optimized energy to do everything that we do. So love yourself, what do you wanna start? Yeah, I think loving yourself is just like a big one that often gets like forgotten about or like, I don't know, people just kind of feel like weird about it. Um, but it can be as easy as like what are the what are what are the five or ten top things you love about yourself just the thought of that makes a lot of people cringe if you can't yeah. make like a, a like a list of like oh these are the things i love about myself then there, there's low work to be done there so that's why we wanted to make this video because it's very important and at the end of the day if you can't love you then how do you want others to love you that's right. So some of the things that we do to make sure that we stay in optimized shape with mind, body, and soul. One, we love to work out, right? So we have a gym in our garage, makes it efficient with time. We can work out as much as we choose to. And so being able to take care of your health. So one is what you put into our body. So obviously, uh, as most of you guys know, we're both vegan and we've been vegan now for a while. And so that is a big, um, you know, determining factor on how your health is because based on your health is going to determine how you experience your life and so being vegan and on a plant-based diet or lifestyle not even a diet just gives us more energy we feel lighter we feel stronger so from you know how we nourish our bodies and also the fitness aspect right so working out so that's like health and body and then we love reading going to trainings taking courses and having mentors so we are always you know, in that self-development journey and constantly growing, but more importantly, applying everything in life. Yeah, and you might ask yourself, like, what does, you know, loving myself have to do with reading a book or anything mm -hmm. like that? But it, it has to do everything with it. Like, what is it that you're actually feeding your, your mind, your brain, if you're just mindlessly watching, like, a whole series of shows that are not, like, feeding you, making you think, making you just kind of develop you know just the brain and like what is it that you're thinking you know what when they say you uh your vibe attracts your tribe like that is so true like what is it that you're attracting are you mm -hmm. attracting just like gossip drama and like is that is that what you're all about or are you like kind of just reading books watching videos that inspire you are you you know calling inspiration like it has everything to do with it so with that being said um also knowing how it is that that when you love yourself like what what are things that you love like example for me i love being home like as much as i like to be with people some sometimes sometimes mm -hmm. like i feel myself by being home with my babies like that's it <laughs> like you put me in my house with my babies i'm happy and like that's yeah. fueling for me like turn on a candle turn on scents like that's i'm happy like that so that those are things that you know i personally do what do you do for me personally, since I spend most of my time at home, you know, working from my laptop for an online business, at times I like to get away and do something. So it might be, I don't know, go to the beach or go to a cafe, have an acai bowl, a smoothie. And, you know, I love being productive and impacting life. So even just being at a cafe uh, at times for me away from home and communicating and impacting and elevating other people's lives, that for me is like fueling myself because I love the feeling of knowing that I'm making a difference in other people's lives. And at time it could be just disconnecting everything and just sitting in silence, meditating or listening to like a Jim Rome or Tony Robbins, you know, YouTube video and just continuing to feed my mind. Yeah. So those are different things. The beach for sure is one of mine. Stephanie loves tanning. So she'll go outside in her backyard and just tan and like for her, that's great. Or I'll see her. Sometimes I'll come home and she'll be outside like reading a book, playing with the boys. And I know for their, for her, that's magical that's like her safe space yeah so just getting clear what it is that you like not your partner not your kids not your mom not your brother not your sister you so just what makes you happy like what makes you thrive because once you fill up your cup then you're able to fill everyone else's so that's something very important you get to like yeah out. and uh one time i was coaching uh, one of my clients and i asked this person to make a list of the five most important people in her life and I noticed that she did not put herself on that piece of paper. Mm. And so I asked her, I said, where are you in your priority list? And the answer is she wasn't in the list at all. 
So it just speaks, you know, how you do anything is how you do everything. So she, before I asked her to do that little exercise, she was telling me how she didn't have time for herself and she was taking care of everybody and how life was such a struggle. And I said, well, no wonder you don't have time for yourself and you feel like you're thinning out is because you don't make yourself a priority. You don't love yourself enough. And the reality is she just didn't know that in order to, you know, be of an impact and of support to the people that you love, you need to take care of yourself first. Just like when you get on an airplane, they tell you to put your oxygen mask on first because if you t try to take care of everyone else first, then you'll end up suffocating, dying, and then that's selfish because you actually then are not able to help everyone else around you. When you put your oxygen mask on first, by making yourself a priority, by being first at the top of your priority list, only then are you able to contribute and impact and elevate other people's lives around you. So that's what love yourself means to us. Yeah, and with that, like I know that whether with it's societal norm or or ideas or just that's just was that's just what it is. You know, loving yourself may seem as selfish, like mm -hmm. like oh, that's so like conceited or that's so you know self-centered but it, it it really is not i mean if you don't put yourself first and again nurture yourself and be fully 100 percent 100 percent the healthiest version of yourself then you can't help others you're only giving yourself a fraction or a percentage of yourself but when you are fulfilled when you are happy when you are thriving then then you get to flourish not only in yourself but what you give out to others and that also goes to it's actually funny i think jada pinkett did a video of this you know mothers are taught like put your kids first your family goes first and it's like you know you lose a sense of yourself when it's first you love yourself first you put yourself first get yourself right and then you're able to give to others just like they say that the heart has to take all the good type of blood first like the best quality of the blood and then after it filters everything then it sends all the not so good blood to all the different organs however if the heart didn't take all the best quality of of blood first then all organs would fail because if the heart fails then all the other organs fail so you could look at it from like you know the, the heart has to be selfish but it's you know it's the wrong word to use in a sense the heart has to make itself a priority and take the best blood first in order to, for all the other organs to thrive again if the heart does not make itself a priority just like if you don't put your oxygen mask on first then you will essentially you know kill everybody because you kill yourself yeah so with that being said we hope you guys find this video uh helpful yeah and mm -hmm. something you guys can do today we encourage you guys you don't have to share it but if you do it that would mean the world to us and so just let us know that you're doing it you don't have to show us but for the next i don't know two weeks every day in the morning whether it's on your phone notes or written i'm, I'm a list type of girl i like to write <laughs> um write five things you love about yourself just five things and it can be anything from like, I love how much energy I have. I love how I inspire others. I love my smile. Like whatever it may be, just start a list and let's see how that goes and let us know how it goes. All right, guys, comment below with any other practices that you know to love yourself. And once you comment below, we will make sure to reply to you guys. And then last but not least, make sure you guys subscribe, like this video, and hit the little notification so you guys can be notified every time we upload a video. We'll see you guys next time. Adios.